Welcome to the Wells County Public Library. My name is Jason. The Wells County Public Library has two library locations. One here in Bluffton on Washington Street and one on Jefferson Street in Ossian. The library prides itself on providing information and lifelong learning to the citizens of the county. We're here today to give you a brief tour of the library and show you that there is much more to a library than just books. So come with me as we go throughout the library and I introduce you to the various departments. The library has recently undergone a renovation to make it more of a gathering space for the people of Wells County and to handle and to correct some issues with the roof and to correct acoustical issues as well and to so we can adapt our collections more to the current demand that we are experiencing right now. First let's start in the children's department. Children are the foundation of our future, as we all know, and the Wells County Public Library takes this very seriously. We want children to be literate and to become literate citizens of, of our democracy. So our children's department not only has a standalone collection specifically designed for children, but it has many, many programs for them to come in and to enjoy themselves and learn from our professional children's librarians. And we also have programs for preschool kids like a thousand books before kindergarten to get them enjoying reading before they even get into a school. Uh, the children's department has many formats including wonder books and audio books specifically designed for children. The library renovation has given us a chance to do some really cool things for kids as you can see on this wall here. There's some fun places for them to sit. One of the most important areas of a library is the story hour room. and It's no different for the Wells County Public Library. With our renovation we were, we were able to double the size of our story hour room and it's been painted by Nancy Wagner as you can see. This area is the teen zone. The Wells County Public Library is well aware that teens are playful and boisterous and can be a bit noisy, and that's perfectly fine. That's why we have designed a specific area for them where they can be themselves, as long as they follow the rules, and they have staff here, teen staff, who are supportive and helpful, and there are many programs here offered at the library for them specifically as well as the collection, just like the children's collection, there's a special collection designed just for them. The teen zone here at the Wells County Public Library has an extensive graphic novel collection. It's a large enough and complete enough collection that other libraries throughout the state request materials from us. As I mentioned in the beginning, there is much more to a library and to the Wells County Public Library than books. The library also has, as you can see behind me, art prints that can be checked out for two months. Uh, there are magazines, puzzles, and even cake pans that can be circulated. In addition to the other items I mentioned, the library does have an extensive collection of audiobooks on CD are on mp3 players um, and dvds blu-rays and we do have ebooks and e-audiobooks on for overdrive and libby off of our northeast indiana digital library website something we're very excited about here at the library is the bleacher seating you can see behind me uh, it can be used for programs so people can come and watch events and it can be used just for lounging throughout the day it has electrical power so you can charge your devices we're now on the second floor of the Wells County Public Library. This is the adult services area. We happen to be at the reference desk right now. Uh, the reference department provides information services to the patrons. It also has internet computers patrons can use to print off items or do whatever they please on the computers. Uh, there are meeting rooms available, fax, copier, and scanning services. And there is lounge seating by the windows. And of course, this is our nonfiction collection, which is still, um, we're still working on finishing up with the renovation and getting the end plates on these. One thing we are very excited about that happened during this renovation is that now these windows are available 
with lounge seating for patrons to sit and look out on downtown Bluffton, including the 1902 Carnegie Library, which we love so much. The adult services department on the second floor has five study rooms available for patrons as well, as you can see here, if people want to have a meeting or study in a more private environment. The Indiana room is part of the adult services department. It is also on the second floor of the library. It contains the library's uh, local history collection, which is broken into two areas, the genealogical and just the historical collection. This is where you would come to research your family history if you had family that were here in Wells County. We also have the old newspapers on microfilm. The library has always had and continues to have meeting rooms available for rent to the public. They are now more accessible to the library. As you can see behind me, they open up into the library instead of a hallway leading out of the library. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, there is a parlor that is available for rent here at the library. It has been remodeled during the renovation, uh, taking out a bar and increasing the capacity of the room. Here is a pamphlet that will be provided to you. Uh, it does list some of the services we do provide, including curbside book pickup, homebound book, book delivery. Um, we also have book a librarian sessions for anything that requires some extensive help. And you know, you can always call us or email us if you have any questions or concerns, and we are always happy to answer those. Thanks for coming with us on this brief tour of the library. If you would like more information on the library, go to our website at wellscolibrary.org or w-e-l-l-s-c-o-library.org or check us out on Facebook or Instagram.